Greetings, everyone. This is Limnality Carb, and it's time for us to get some more things from the Ouroboros ruins and not eat this toad leg. First thing we're going to get is actually over here where we fought that giant slime and saw the fishing pole. First, though, we of course again have to beat this giant slime again. Oh, thank you for being nicer. I do not like that attack. Oh, it's being so much nicer than it was when I was just practicing this earlier. I only got hit once last time I, uh... Yeah, I took way too much damage. But, if you remember, there is a moonstone over here. We were not able to get it last time because if we jump from here, we don't fall down enough. And we do have a life preserver so we can, you know, not drown... But there is a way for us to get enough height. You need to bring both of these po uh, both these pots over here. And as a note, what we're doing is technically getting this when we're not supposed to. We're supposed to have another item to be able to get this moonstone, but we're here, so let's get it now. So what we're going to do, place two bombs down, jump on them, jump down, and we get ourselves that moonstone. And you kind of only have one shot at this, as you saw. The bombs destroy those pots. But the next item that we need to get from here is actually going to be back at the Break the Boxes challenge. Alright, Balo, what's your new challenge? Oh boy, I was wondering when you would return. Since you left, this place has undergone a number of changes. But none have changed so much as I... And by that I mean, are you prepared to undergo the ultimate Break the Boxes Challenge 2? <laughs> Let me at those boxes. I like your spunk. Hold on a moment while my men set the stage. I enjoy that they have power drills. Okay, we're ready. 25 seconds. The rules are the same as before. Break all the boxes within the time limit. Prepare to start in 3, 2, 1... Go! Alright, so I do not remember the trick for this one, so I may end up failing at least once. Oh yeah, I am taking way too long for this. There we go! Got it that time. Wow, incredible! Once again, you've bested my Break the Boxes challenge. That deserves a mighty reward. Another cool trinket! We got ourselves a heart ruby for this one. No more Break the Boxes. It's time I moved on to something more productive. Maybe a Build the Boxes challenge. Ha ha! In the end, breaking boxes was my escape from bitter reality. I don't know what's next, but I'll figure it out, one step at a time. Well, that's good for you, Balo. Yep, and that was our last break the boxes challenge. Next, we have to go to the water area, whereas we paid someone 100 rin to get a key. Which, I don't remember exactly where that is. I think it's over here. We will check in a second. Okay, so it's not in there. It's actually over here. Just head past the tavern. And this is where. There is a moonstone down there that we couldn't get previously. But now... We should be able to. We just have to actually... There we go. 
just jump down, and then once you're next to here, if you jump again, you bonk, you bonk your head, and you go right into that moonstone. And with that, I believe we have actually completed all the things in the Ouroboros Lair. Next, we're going to head back to Atai to get some more collectibles that we are now able to access and start another quest. Now that we're back at Atai, you notice uh, there's someone hiding behind a rock over here. This right here is the well that you can easily get to the metro from, so uh, let's talk to her. It's Melody again. Hi, Gail. Surprise! I've successfully left the Ouroboros and made it to a Thai market. Now I'm going to begin my career as a dancer. Just give me a moment to find the courage. So, what have you been up to? Oh, wow. There's a trail of ants here. Fascinating. Oh, she sunk into the ground. Head back? Huh. Thought there was more to do with Melody, but... Maybe not right now. Alright. Well, anyway... What we want to do, actually... Is... Head over and talk to the bandits. That are in prison, because... They actually have a small quest for us. Though they don't realize it yet. You! Did you come to gloat? I'll not talk with you! I'm surrounded by enemies on all sides! Alright, Birdie. Well, let's talk to Zeke. Oh man, so bored. Hey, can you get me a berry fruit? I've got a serious craving for something sweet. Well, we've got a bunch of berry fruit for um, when we were last in the Anuri Temple, so let's give him one. Thanks for the berry fruit, boss. You know, there's someone else here that would appreciate some berry fruit, too. Only if you're feeling mighty generous, of course. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's give Birdie a berry fruit. Ugh, I hate how Zeke keeps smirking at me. <laughs> Quit it! Need I remind you, you're stuck here, too. Let's give her a berry fruit. Me? You're giving me one, too? I don't know what you're playing at. But I'll take it. Ouroboros roll five. Always sees an opportunity. We're still enemies. All right. Berry fruit's are my favorite snack. And toy. As a kid, I like to split to spit them through a straw. I remember that. We had lively matches with girls versus boys. Kick it. Yeah, then the elders spanked us for wasting food. Huh. Good times. Alright, what well, if I talk to you, Birdie? When Birdie gets quiet like that, it's because she's embarrassed. Sh shut it! Alright, well, I know there's more that we can do with them. But I guess not now, so we will be returning here again later. Instead, we are going to actually try to get something that is, again, out of sequence. So, there is this door up here. There's a item in the game that you get much, much later that is how you're supposed to get up there. However... Come on, box. Just push you out of my way. Similar to what we did with the um, Moonstone in the Ouroboros Lair, there's actually a way for us to sort of get this early. And it involves moving these two boxes into the proper location. So this is going to take a little bit of time, and again, it is also going to require us using bombs. And we effectively will only have one shot at it. If I fail, we can always come back and try this again later. But you need to put that first block all the way up there like I did, because we're going to kind of use it to vault off of. And actually, I wonder, I might be able to do this without bombs. 
now that I think of it. Just very carefully. Is this good? That is not enough. So, yeah. I do need bombs just to get that last bit of height. And, oh! Well, I failed. Okay, well, we'll begin that, uh, later. So, instead, let's go to the next item for this area, because there is a bunch that we can do in a tie. Next is heading over to the mayor, because there is actually a little thing that we can do with him. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Rufus, who says nothing new. What about you, Mayor? No, nothing new? I know there's someone here who tells us. Maybe it's the... Oh, right, right. It's the uh, guy who uh, is by all the paintings of the previous mayors or sultans or whatever it is. I think they're actually all just mayors of this city. Is it through this door? No, because that's literally the door I just went through. Is it this one? Here we go. Seems the mayor was right to rely on you. Perhaps this old man can ask a favor of you as well. Let's hear his troubles. The mayor's birthday approaches. I know that the only thing he truly wants is impossible to attain. But perhaps a memento from his parents would bring him some peace? In truth, there's a safe located in his parents' bedroom. The house staff and I kept, have kept hush about it for fear of thieves. But likely there's some treasure intended for the mayor inside. The mayor's late father was realistic about the situation, and likely would have left something for his son. Unfortunately, only the mayor's late parents know how to open the safe, and they are with us no more. Would you be so kind as to lend your assistance in opening this safe? Yeah, we'll help. Thank you. You are too kind. I'll inform the house staff to share with you what they know. Four of them believe they have pertinent info. Perhaps there's some detail we've overlooked that will pop out at you. Please, lend us your expertise in opening the family safe. Here are the details again. Which is just the same thing. There should be something in the safe. In the safe and talk to the kitchen. Or talk to, not kitchen staff, the overall house staff. I probably can't pick that up. Nope. What about you? I'm quite like the... Nope. Okay, so not the guards, but actually the staff. Okay. So we do want to talk to the kitchen staff. Let's ask about the safe. Huh. I can't speak much for the safe, but I do remember something about the mayor's late mother. She was just about the nicest person you could meet. Lots of people didn't approve of her. But she weathered everything with a smile. I remember she would ask me to send her vava, vavla beans. Always a batch of three. I feared she was stress eating, so I spied on her. Turns out she used them to feed the bird. Did my story help at all? So three vava, vavla beans for a bird. That's our first clue. What about you? Often, I'd be called to I'd be called to clean their bedroom. It's not unusual to find feathers strewn everywhere. The mayor and his late parents liked to engage in a sport known as pillow fighting. It was how they bonded. When they had their sessions, you'd hear laughter and that muffled sound of pillows and that muffled sound pillows make when they land. One day, while doing my usual cleanup, I saw the safe had been left open. I presumed the father and mother had some business in there and forgot. I know that four of the switches were green. Just the ones in the center. Four center green. Uh, unfortunately, the safe remains locked, even with that combination. I heard you were tackling the mystery of the safe. Oh, so exciting. I've always wondered what was in it. I have no clues, but I'll be cheering for you is what she said as I click through that way too quickly. Do you say anything? Yes, you do. Uh, I see my uncle has decided to seek your help in opening the family safe. I approve of this. In fact, you might even say it was my idea. I never verbalized it to anyone, but I thought it. Rufus is kind of scum. Let's see. Concerning the safe, do remember something. 
You see, I sat with Brain the Mayor's late father a nightly sat a nightly snack discreetly. He was a big fan of Drake Tail. He believed he increased uh concentration. Anyway, once I brought the snack so discreetly, they must not have noticed I was there. I saw them inside the safe, and all the switches were set to green. Alas, we've since tried that combination, but to no avail. So, four in the center green, all of them green. Is there... I think that's... Is that it for hints? I could have sworn there's someone else. Hi, bird. Look, bird looks like it wants something, which is probably the lava beans, which I need to find out where you get those. So, actually, oh, I think you can buy them in the market. So, let me go make some inventory space at the recycler, and we'll go pick up those beans. So, while I was coming over to the checkpoint to use the recycler, I actually found something in the first guard tower. Come all the way over here. And we have that cat for the cat petter achievement. All right, back to a tie. All right, so these are the beans that I need to pick up. Those are flava beans. They're a very healthy snack, convenient to carry and to eat. Let's, oh, handful for 20? Perfect, wonderful. It's always great to serve a fellow connoisseur of legumes. All right, now we've got our three lava beans, so we can go talk to the bird and feed it to them. We also can get one more thing from over here. Apparently, there is uh, that guard at the top left supposedly should actually have our next clue. So, we need to actually just get on up there and talk to them. Hopefully... They actually do have a clue for us, and I am not mistaken on this. Hey, you do! Awesome! Once, I heard the mayor's late mother scream in fright. I rushed over and chased away a cat. You see, the mayor's late mother dis disliked cats. She was a dog person. Anyway, it just so happened at that time the safe was open, and I saw the switches were arranged in alternating colors. They start with green at the left, ending with purple on the right. However, we tried repeating that combination. The safe still didn't open. So, we have three different safe combinations now. However, before we do anything with those, we're going to feed this bird. I don't want that. Bird looks like it wants something. Let's give it a bean. Give it another. Okay, a third one. Okay. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I guess I am remembering wrong. Anyway, we have three different switches, or things to do. So, we're going to just go through all of them. First, we're going to try the all of them on, then just the four in the center. And then, let's go for alternating. Uh, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. Okay. Hmm. There's something to this that I am forgetting. Let me go find out what that is quickly. So I found out what I did wrong. So, you need to enter in one of the codes then you go ahead and feed it a bean and now as you see that has lit up saying we have one of the codes uh, next we're going to do the alternating one alternating yes feed it a bean There's that one, and now we need the final one. 
is the four green in the center. Feed it a bean. That is all three of them open. And now we have a ladder to climb on up into their secret safe. Which has a stack of letters. And a painting of, I'm guessing, the mother. But now we've got a stack of letters, so... Let's go ahead and... First, let's talk to the old man, and then we'll give them to the mayor. Which, this is actually going to be the easiest way to get to that old man. Hopefully, he has something interesting to say for these stacks of letters. You, you, op you say you opened the safe? What do you find inside? We gave him the stack of letters. This is... And it couldn't have been done without Miss Gale here. Oh, what a joyous day. That look on the mayor's face when he received that first letter. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen the young master tear up in a long time. Tears of happiness they were. So there weren't any riches? None. What's here is better than better than any gold or jewels. These are his parents' loving words reaching from beyond the veil. To embrace and guide their son for 50 years to come. Hear, hear! Oh, joy. It's a relief not to have to worry about which birthday gifts to get him for the next 50 years. I'm joking. Man, Rufus, you are scum. Our staff has put together a prize pool for your hard work. Please, accept it. We got 150 rin. In addition, please receive this gift as well. And more importantly, we got a heart rupee. Alright. We're going to go ahead and talk to the mayor. You seem a little angry. I heard you were the one who opened the mansion safe. Gale, was it? I'll remember it. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you. Rufus, what do you have to say now? Amazing. First, you trash... I don't even... I can't keep his voice consistent. Amazing. First, you thrashed the bandits, and now you solved the unsolvable safe. I think I shall befriend you in case you become famous someday. Remember that dear old Ruf Rufus always believed in you. In fact, here's a little gift. Consider it my investment in you. Someday, old Rufus may need to call in some favors. Ho ho! And he gives us ten ring. The staff gave us a much better reward than Rufus did. Alright. Now it's time to go do that attempt of sequence breaking again. Let's hope it goes better this time. Got this set up. We're throwing that bomb away so I can explain quickly before I fail this again. Ho well, hopefully not fail. The idea is going to be place those bombs and do a sprint jump right off of them. Like that! There we go! And if I was faster, I could have gotten in here before those crates exploded and not have to reset again. But now that we are in here, this is actually a maze puzzle. There are three different things that we can get in here depending on which path we take. First, we're going to go just right twice. Then right again. And here is a moonstone. After this, unfortunately, we get kicked out. But we came from above, so as you can see, the other thing we can get is a heart rupee. Now, let's get back up there. So the path for the heart rupee is middle. Right, left, and then another left. And ta-da! We got ourselves that heart rupee. There is one other thing you can get from there. The path to get that last thing is left, left, and then right. What it is is a treasure chest with 35 rin. I'm not going to worry about getting that now, but if you need the money, go for it. 
it actually could be very useful, especially early on when you're doing all the earlier stuff in a tie. Finally, there is one other item we can actually still get that is out of sequence. Over here in Ruby's daycare, there was that pot up there that clearly has something in it. We can try to break it open with this, and we see that it's a moonstone. Thankfully, moonstones have physics. So, if you can... You know what? We're going to bring this crate up here to make it a little bit easier to do this. Hold the bomb in your hands right below it. And there it goes. And do it again. Thankfully, there's a bed here, so after we take all of this pain, we can recover it. Just slowly push it over. And again, this is something that we will actually have an item that would be the way they intended you to get this. But that is yet another out of sequence moonstone and with that we're actually going to end the episode here next time we will finally head on over to moonlight ravine and start making our way towards thomas's lab as always thank you all very much for watching and take care <laughs>